Good morning um, and, and welcome. I think we have to start with the positive news about these uh, Thai boys that, and their leaders that have all been released out of that cave. Isn't it fantastic? We need those good news. As well as the good news from Ethiopia, Eritrea, and the fact that they uh, now agree on, on uh, closing a, a peace deal. And, and that is, of course, also um, fantastic. I joined the Secretary General who says that if the reasons for introducing sanctions are, are removed, then also the sanctions, of course, uh, could be removed. So, so um, we, we are hoping that that can, can all happen uh, shortly. Today we will discuss the Women, Peace and Security Agenda. And um, that has, uh, as you might have followed, also underpinned our work in the Security Council from the very beginning. And uh, we uh, will focus uh, specifically on the role of women in development and building peace and security in the Sahel region. And uh, I will be saying that um, this is a region between hope and despair. Hope because it has everything in terms of natural resources, it has a youthful population, it has uh, a lot of resources, um, but uh, also despair because of the um, the chronic uh, uh, underdevelopment and, and poverty that we see, also um, Boko Haram, as we saw in Niger, um, doing more and more horrendous uh, attacks, um, and um, uh, the role of child marriages and uh, lack of education and basic uh, health services. And that, that stops, uh, uh, that hinders development, of course. Um, and uh, at the same time, hope was also very much in these women and the civil society leaders that we met. Uh, they don't want to be victims only, they want to be agents of change for their countries. And as uh, women in the Lake Chad uh, described to us, before the fish used to be this big, so it was the men who, who did the fishing, now fish are this small, and we can do uh, fishing. And they do that and they sustain hundreds of families uh, by their own activities and they have made a, a business out of this. Uh, and we should do more of that to, to develop that. I think it is clear also that what happens in the Sahel region really uh, um, encompasses everything that the UN is for. Uh, all the pillars of, of the UN's work. Uh, so we uh, have to show the, demonstrate the link also between climate change and security. And that is what we will discuss today. And I'll be joined by uh, both Amina Mohammed and uh, Binta Diop, who is the uh, African Union's uh, Women, Peace and Security uh, Special Representative. So um, um, that is, um, uh, we hope, uh, will be a, a good and constructive uh, meeting and engaging uh, meeting. So maybe um, I'll just uh, uh, say that tomorrow will be uh, about climate change and security. And it was very clear from, from this trip that we made together to Chad and uh, Niger how, this, uh, how these things all are intertwined and uh, that we have to address also climate change. It's no longer somebody far away, somebody else and further into the future that will be affected. It is already our destiny as well to be uh, affected by climate change. And what happens there is also affecting us because of migration, because of all the security issues that will spill over uh, and affect also us. Okay. I, I have a question. You yes. mentioned Ethiopia and Eritrea. Um, how soon do you think action could be taken at the Council to lift sanctions? Well, we are looking at that, whether uh, we can um, even introduce it as quickly as possible during our presidency or uh, what will be the, the right time and we will have to, uh, uh, to, to check that and exactly what is happening, of course, there on the ground. And the Secretary General is re returning today, I think, so maybe with his fresh impressions also from what is going on, we can decide on that. That would be fantastic. I think it means something for the whole Horn of Africa also, the whole region. Okay, thank you. Thank you.